everybody, it's Lauren here. I just wanted to show you today a tour of what is in my journaling pouch. I have one of these Delphonics pouches in the medium size that I had seen all over Instagram and YouTube, and I found this on Amazon. It was kind of expensive, but honestly, the amount of use I've gotten out of it, absolutely worth the price. I love it. It's really beautiful quality. I love this yellow. Mustardy yellow is like my favorite color right now. And it is absolutely full of stuff. This is not something that I travel with on a regular basis. This is kind of something that sits on my desk at home, but I can move it around my house. So if I want to journal on the coffee table downstairs or on the couch, I can move this and pretty much have everything I'm going to need and more. So let's take a look in all of these pockets. The pockets are honestly the main reason why I don't think I would travel with this. Um, a lot of them are open, so I worry that some things might fall out. The first thing that you can kind of see poking out of all these pockets are my pens. So I've got a couple different things here. I have some Zebra Sarasa Clip gel pens in a few different colors. They have some really cool vintage-y colors like this camel, which is actually pretty similar to the color of the bag once I write with it. Maybe a little bit more orange in it. And then I have this kind of muted blue color that I really love. And then I have those same colors in the Pentel sign pens, which are brush pens with a felt tip, I believe. Those are really fun. I also have these Uniball Signo gel pens. They're a 0.38 tip, which is really, really fine. I like using these for traveler's notebooks. Uh, they're awesome. They're a good, like, standard pen for me to use on all of my travel journal pages. This also looks like a pen, but it's not. This is a little mini Reme pen cut pair of scissors. This is actually not the smallest scissors that this company makes. I do have an even smaller pair, but I liked them so much that I bought the slightly larger pair. You can actually flip these around. They have instructions for how to make them lefty scissors, which is kind of cool. And the cap stays on really securely, which is nice. And then when you're done, you can just slide these up and the handles go away. Really helpful for traveling. I also do have an actual pair of scissors in here. These are absolutely gorgeous. These tiny scissors are made by a company called Tools to Live By, and I absolutely love them. They're so cute and so tiny, and they're really substantial feeling, even though they're so small. I do have a full-size pair of scissors from them as well, but these are the little ones that I take around with me more often. The big ones pretty much just stay on my desk, but it is nice to have a tiny pair. I also really like the packaging that they came in, so I keep them in this just to keep from my uh, hurting anybody. And in here I've got, I'm, well, these are almost gone, but they are fountain pen nib shaped paper clips, which I really like. I use them as a decoration. I like hold things onto my traveler's notebook covers using them. Even though I know that the paper clip will eventually kind of make marks in the leather, I really like the look of these, so I can live with that. And here I've also got a foam eraser. I like this because it has kind of a holder on it so that your hands don't get messy. And then as the eraser gets smaller and smaller, there's a little perforated line where you can tear off some of the holder so that it can be the right size. It's kind of smart. In this pocket, I have some Kitta tapes, which are little mini washi tapes, uh, but they're pre-cut and they have a backing on them. So you just peel them off. But what I like about these is that they come in kind of pre-coordinating packs so they match. You don't have to think about what to coordinate together. I also keep a pad of post-it notes in here. I use them to make notes when I'm journaling. Maybe I'll look through my calendar and find the dates if I'm backdating things or if I don't have time to journal I can just write out a quick note of what happened that day and stick it on a journal page and go back and work on it later. They're just really useful to have when I'm journaling. I have a couple of these clips around just kind of all over my desk. Uh, they hold my journal pages open for me so if it's a notebook that doesn't lie flat like the Traveler's Company notebooks I can not worry that like my stamp ink will end up getting everywhere. Uh, I can hold the pages open without using my hands. And then this, let's see, so this is kind of where I've put some small ephemera 
that I've saved. It's like stickers I've collected and tags from items that I've purchased. This came like on a pair of overalls that I bought. Um, it's really full, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit much more. And then this little envelope has some stamps from the holidays, all the stamps that people were sending me on letters and Christmas cards were all really cute, so I kept them. Uh, but that's, can't really fit much more than that in here, but it's a good place to start. And then I have bigger pouches and bags that I keep more ephemera in. Cause I like to keep that stuff because when I wanna go journal and I need extra pieces, I know exactly where to go. So this is the main pocket. And if you haven't seen these pouches before, they're divided up. There are four smaller pockets along the sides in here, and then there's one main big pocket. These are just awesome. They are so, you can just stay organized with this, and I love it. Uh, first thing I have in here is my Canon Ivy printer. I love the mint green. And uh, they print on this zinc paper, which is basically a sticker. It doesn't require any ink. It is kind of expensive, but I have learned that I'm happier when my journals have photos in them and I do not have the patience to go to a store and have my photos printed out or order them online. This way I can do it straight from my phone, it connects via Bluetooth, and it's super easy. The print quality isn't the best print quality, but the convenience makes it worth it, in my opinion. And then in here, this is a date stamp. So you can change around the date and stamp it and it is self inking. So I don't have to worry about that. I've replaced the ink pad on here maybe once, but I've gotten a lot of dates stamped with this thing without having to change it again. I also found this Ziploc bag that's exactly the right size and that way I won't get ink all over the inside of my bag. I think the cage in here would make it so I don't get too much ink everywhere, but I do get it on my hands when I'm using it. So just for safety, <laughs> there is that. Uh, the main thing I have in the big pocket is paper. So I have, this is like a mini block of cardstock from scrapbooking. And I don't use all of it. I end up like ripping the pieces up and using little bits in collages. And so then I just kind of shove it back in here like a little folder. It's getting to be kind of a mess, but that's fun. And then I just got this for Christmas. I haven't used it yet, but I love this artist. And the style is just beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's a little more vintagey than I typically go, but I just kind of fell in love with the designs that this artist makes and thought it would be a good thing to buy for my next traveler's notebook because I'm almost done with the one that only uses paper from this pad. So I thought that that would be a good purchase. So down here, I kind of threw some washi tapes. So these are my favorite washi tapes at the moment. They are just kind of loose in here, <laughs> probably not the best, uh, but I love these. These two are from Bamku Hen and this one is from Jet Pens and I really like them. So I keep them pretty much where I can grab them easily. That's where I keep the printer, paper, and then in here I have just kind of some random little things. This is a washi tape cutter. It clips onto it and then it has a little, little tiny blade on it. So if I want to get like a really clean cut on my washi tape instead of just ripping it, I can use that. And then these are just some little things that I bought online. This is outdated actually, but it's a teeny tiny peel off calendar. So whenever I was journaling in 2021, I would find the date and peel it off. I did not end up using the whole thing, unfortunately, but it was fun while well, it lasted, I guess. These are like little tickets, which I thought was kind of fun. Not tickets to anything that I've gone to, but when I don't have a ticket for something, I went to an event back in the day, I could use this just for visual representation. That's the big pocket. And there are a couple pockets on the back. This thing has so many pockets. So this is some more kind of vintagey paper, little bits of paper, which is fine because honestly, I do a lot of collaging with my passport size traveler's notebook and the pages are tiny, so I don't need like huge paper. Uh, this is another little set of paper, different style, but 
I love the light blue and yellow. I think that's so pretty. And then in here, this is another kind of big pocket. Uh, these are some more washi tapes. And these ones are actually, I love these. They're dots. Big watercolor dots. And every one is a slightly different color. So you get some interesting variation. I have dark blue, light blue, and purple. I use these a lot. They're a really good way to pull some pops of color throughout. Oh, and then these are some really slim washi tapes. I don't have a ton of these, but I love the idea that they're just very, very slim. And then the last things I have in here are a couple of white gel pens and this Zig Clean Color Dot Marker, which I don't use as much as I thought I would, but it makes really cool dots and they get bigger depending on how hard you press, so you can kind of get some variation there. Thought they were kind of fun. All right, and that is my journaling supply pouch. So in the comments, I would love to know more about your journaling supply pouch. Can you tell me what are your favorite journaling supplies? Are you really careful about how many you choose and which ones you choose? Or do you just kind of go with anything that inspires you and end up with a really wide variety of interesting supplies? Can't wait to chat with you about it. I am so glad that you're here. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you next time.